in this class we will define uh, virtual ip VIP, which is very exciting uh, topic for me it's a basic topic and uh, we'll make sure that first of all we'll go to system and under the system we'll go to settings and we'll make sure that the basic features we already have enabled the basic features all the basic features like load balancing because it's a lot of loading all the features is enabled once we make sure that everything is fine in this section then we'll go to the traffic management the traffic management is the section where we will define our servers where we will define our virtual servers uh, services service groups all these things uh, so a lot of things is in the traffic management and mostly you will spend your time here in this section so we'll create our our, our first server and uh, we have two different options to create a server first of all we'll define a name and then we'll go to the to the to the server either this server is, uh, is ip based means that we, we have the ip on the of uh, of that server or we have the domain name fully qualified domain name in our section we have uh, we have ip address uh, in this lab so we will go with 192.168.102.133 which is the ip address of my server i will make sure that the server is accessible from my lab pc also even if this is not access accessible from the client but it should be accessible from citrix adc from your load balancer so it's a required that server should have access from your load balancer and it's have access from my side also so both of my server is available and i, I just tested that first server and second server both is available i will create now 102.133 as a first server and just uh, just assign ip address 133 i will create the server once server is created you see the status is enabled i will go with uh, for the second server second server have ip address 192.168.102.129 this is my second server i will create it you see the both server have enabled i mean status is enabled for the both server now the next step to create a serv services for that server so what's mean the services services is any uh, the, the protocol which the services which you are running on that server is a is a, is a http web service or uh, is a sql server so sql server have different protocols so i will just define my service i have two different options here also i can create a new server if i not create in my last section i can define from here also but as you know that i already uh, configured uh, sorry create a server so we'll create from here protocol is httpb you see that service is created but the status is down why the status is down this is another story uh, we will we will cover this one also but till this section we create a server we define a services also for that server service status is down we'll create another server uh, ser sorry service for the second server which we already created so our second service or underscore second this is will bind to 129 which is our second server and we create it the both services status is done the reason the status is done because we still not have subnet defined we our server is in different subnet and our load balancer is in different vlan so we need to create we need to define that one we will define later on first we will make sure that uh, that uh, we, we, we finish the, this under the um, traffic management so in this section now as you see that we are creating services so services have different health check also so different monitors we have we have the ping monitor we have http we have https we even can define our own custom uh, monitors health check which we will bind with the services and it will just uh, check the status of the services that either the services is available or not available if this is not available then it will notify to the to the load balancer that the service is unavailable so uh, the traffic from the client will be migrated or sorry to shift it to the another server we'll create a health check monitor for the both our services and we by default it's tcp uh, but we go with the http because our server have http and uh, uh, it's, it's accessible over http it should be if any server is the, the any issue with our website service is not accessible so it will give us that there's some error so we can we can shift to the uh, to the available server so this is nice uh, health monitors which will give us the which will facilitate us to to check the proper health of the server 
that the IDA server is, is only accessible or is accessible with all the services which we want to which we want to use which we want to serve to our customer to our clients so next section is the virtual server we will define the virtual server here the purpose of the virtual server is that any traffic coming from outside it will hit the VIP virtual IP we call it normally VIP so the VIP we will define here LB underscore uh, PSRV virtual server and the protocol which we will choose is by default HTTP even uh, next section we will go also for the HTTPS that your VIP is in HTTPS and your backend is in the in the in the HTTP section but in this section we'll go normally with HTTP we will define a new IP address or we can use the same IP address we are we, uh, which we which we are using for different VIPs so here we define a new new VIP because we don't have VIP before we now we define a 192.168.102.115 and we'll def uh, leave the port 80 once we create the VIP, now it's a time to bind a virtual server service with it, which we already defined it. So we will select the services, both select uh, services, and we'll bind with this VIP. Once service is binded, we'll go with the continue. And now our VIP is created as have two services. We will define the method now. The method, the what type of the load balancing method. We have the round least connection by default. We'll go with the round robin and the backup, met backup method will go with the least connection persistence cookies you can define but in this section we will not go with this one we will go by default with the none option uh, in the next section we will cover also this one but now we will go with this just only this option create you see the status is down the status of the server virtual server and the status of the services is down we will save the configuration we will back to we will resolve this issue now we will go to systems under the system network IP and we will define the subnet IP now the subnet IP should be in the same VLAN or at least it should have access or have uh, means the connectivity to the to the to the server which we have to define in the server zone in the server in the, under the traffic management we'll go to the IP address the, our IP address is 192.168.102.120 uh, sorry 120 this is our subnet IP and we have the network uh, net mask is uh, 24 leave everything by default create subnet is created subnet IP is created now if we see uh, under the traffic management section under the traffic management section we will notice that all the services will be up should be up and all the servers virtual servers should be up because now it's have the connect have the connectivity now you see that service is up and the both server is up so everything is fine working properly uh, we will just make sure that it should be accessible now our VIP should be accessible and it should load balance the traffic to to the real server we'll go to 102.115 our VIP 192.160.102.115 so you see that it's response for server second server everything is working fine yeah perfect everything is working fine in the next section we will cover the ssl offloading thanks for watching